And then my bomb beauties. So today we're talking about favorites, we're talking about hair, nails, makeup, all kinds of favorites, all kinds of things that, products that I've been trying and liking and I'm gonna tell you why I like them, little mini reviews, that's what's going on in today's video. So, because of the 100 days of makeup, I've been trying so many different products, reaching and dipping into so many different things. So, um, this video is gonna be a little bit long, I'm warning you, but if you get through it, you'll probably find something that you would really like or something that would work for you. I don't ever talk about hair products, so I'm gonna talk about them first because I'm so excited about them and I will be doing a full review, like a separate full review video on these. But these are the Pura Dior Premium Organic Solutions Healing Conditioner and the Hair Loss Prevention Therapy Shampoo. Now the reason that these are so awesome and amazing and I'm so excited is because these are organic. I feel like lately um, my family has really started to kind of veer towards organic veggies and organic food and it's just so much better all, without all those chemicals and I didn't realize that they have organic shampoo and conditioners. So shampoo and conditioners that have no harmful chemicals, no sulfates, no parabens and is gluten free. So this particular one that I have is a unisex one, so it's for all hair types, and it's just really healthy, and it's supposed to, this one's supposed to prevent hair loss, um, and it's supposed to help for fuller, shinier hair, and this one is a healing conditioner. So I, that's all I'm gonna say about these. I absolutely love them, you guys. If you are looking for a good organic shampoo and conditioner, go pick these up. I'll put the link off down below of where you can find these. I will be doing a full review, so stay tuned for this, but oh my gosh, these are amazing. So I'm just, I'm not even, I wanna tell you guys so much about them, but I'm not. I'm going to just leave it at that for now. So to go along with that same brand, this is the Pura Dior Argan Oil. It's body, hair, and face treatment. It's pure, natural, and of course, organic. So. You guys have probably seen these in several of my tutorials if you guys follow me or if you guys are subscribed. I love this. You guys, get on the computer and go order this right now. This is amazing. You can use this in so many different ways, but I've been using it on the face because I have normal to dry skin, but um, with having the baby, my skin has been a lot drier. And so I can either put this on after my moisturizer and kind of like pat it into my face, or my favorite way that I've been using this lately is adding it to my foundation. Yes, I add oil drops to my foundation and it is amazing. It makes my foundation have the most natural, glowy, beautiful skin and it doesn't break down on my face. It doesn't it doesn't affect my foundation at all. Like it just makes my face look natural all day long. If you have oily skin, I wouldn't recommend doing that. Maybe a treatment right before you go to bed would be good. But anyways, I've been using this with the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I'm in the shade 220. This is for normal to oily skin. Um, I just felt like the one for dry skin was too glowy, too luminous. It, it just, I didn't like how it felt. It was too much on my face for some reason. Um, but I love this one. And this one, mixed with this oil just gives it the most natural, beautiful, perfect amount of dewiness to the skin where it just looks healthy. I don't look cakey right here. Usually I get cakey right here. This completely fixes it and I don't know why it just looks gorgeous with this foundation. It looks amazing you guys and um, it just, it doesn't, the foundation still lasts just as long. It doesn't break this foundation down. Um, I really do enjoy it and I'm obsessed with this. So the last hair product that I'm going to be talking about is this right here and it is a headband and it is a beautiful blue and white striped headband. Perfect for 4th of July coming up. Um, but it is a bow and you can untie it and kind of retie it so that it kind of fits your head. Um, but I have been loving this. It's absolutely gorgeous and I feel like for the summertime it's so light and nice and it gets the hair out of my face and it just feels good and I'm so excited to also use it for the 4th of July. This here is um, an accessory 
story from the brand I had to I had to get out my little card because I don't remember um, Dalphinus of New York and you can actually find these at Anthropology. they sell these ex they sell this brand exclusively at Anthropology. so this is amazing and these are really really cute so if you're looking for cute little headbands put the link down below where you can find them um, and yeah I'm actually really like these and the material is really nice and um, I'm pretty sure that you can wash these as well because of the material so that's nice that way if you get any makeup on it, you know, as you're putting it on, you can wash it. So now let's get through the makeup. So first off, my number one makeup favorite of this month. I'm obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. If you follow me on my social media, you probably already saw this coming. So this is Itsy, and this is a palette that was sent to me, and it's kind of like the Z palette. Um, so I got some powders, some eyeshadows, but I particularly want to talk about one eyeshadow that I've been obsessed with this month. Can you guess what it is? You guys should know because I just did a tutorial using this eyeshadow. So this is called Golden Gate. You guys, this is such a beautiful color and it's perfect for right now. It's perfect for this time. For the summertime it's so pigmented I'm so impressed with these itsy eyeshadows because they're affordable they're super affordable and they're super pigmented super easy to blend to work with they the texture it's a very soft nice texture I was barely dipping my finger in and it just is gorgeous and this particular one this orange one is so beautiful so this one's called Golden Gate Ugh. I'm obsessed with it you guys I've done like three or four makeup um, Instagram makeup pictures looks using this and it's amazing and all their eyeshadows are really good and they have this cute like different color palette things where you can just stick in your eyeshadow so I am loving that my number one okay next and I'm just going to start grabbing stuff. So next is this You Are Gong Zoo eyelashes. Um, I talked about, I think I showed you guys this before. So um, I'm doing a giveaway right now with these on my Instagram and my YouTube. I just did a video on it. But these are amazing. I'm not wearing them today because I'm going a little bit more for a natural look today. But in almost all of my tutorials, in almost all of my pictures on Instagram, I am using these. And these are absolutely gorgeous. And I love them. And they're super affordable. You can find them on Amazon. I will link everything I can off down below. Next, since we're talking about Amazon, is this little baby right here. So this is the brush egg. I've had this for almost two months now and I'm obsessed with it because I, you know, when I'm washing my brushes, you basically, it's a little egg, put your fingers in there and you use it to wash your brushes. So I never can get my brushes super, super clean, especially the brushes with the white bristles. Um, I can never get them super clean, but this is super easy. It takes like a couple seconds to get a brush clean even a brush full of foundation so i absolutely love this and recommend it it is less than three dollars on amazon you guys go check it out right now is a chance for you to go get it and it has so many different fun colors and it's so small and easy to store i don't like the big mats because i feel like it's hard to store but this is so teeny you can just store it wherever and it's awesome and so some of my brushes right now are clean that i'm going to show you some of them are not sorry so you can see these are absolutely clean thanks to that little baby. But next favorite is the Wet n Wild brushes. Now I have these face brushes and I have an eyeshadow brush. I'm still looking for the blending brush, but if you guys see these, pick them up. You can find them at Walgreens, at drugstore.com. These are awesome, super affordable brushes. And um, the ones that I have here is the flat top brush. So this is perfect for foundation, for um, powder. I like foundation because you can definitely use it to buff things out or to stipple it onto the skin. These are super soft. They don't shed on me. They're amazing. Then I have the powder. I just dropped a brush on my son. Then you have the powder brush, which is super fluffy and dense as well, especially for a powder foundation. This is for you. Then we have the small stippling brush, which is great for cream blushes. I love this for cream blushes. I think it's so great and so easy to blend and it's awesome. Then I have the blush brush, which has been my absolute one 
100% favorite because I feel like you can use it for so many things. So blush brush is flat like this. You can see how thin it is, how skinny it is. Um, so you can use it, I, I use it to contour with. Then you can turn it on the side and blend. And then you can turn it on like this flat part and add your blush. And then you can either turn it like this or still on the flat part and add the highlight. So this is just such a, um, such a multitasker type of brush that I'm super pleased with it. At first I thought it was weird that it was so flat, but now I really like it. And then I have the contouring brush, which is great for contouring because it's skinny enough to give you a sharp contour, but it's fluffy enough that when you start blending, it really makes it super easy to blend. So I have been loving these brushes and recommend them. Now that we're talking about contour, you guys knew this was coming. I have used this in every single tutorial this last month. I have been using it in every single makeup, 100 days of makeup, pictures that I've been taking for Instagram. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette Contour and Dulce de Leche. And it has a contouring powder and it has a more highlighting, but like a matte or subtle, subtle glow highlight. And I have been loving this because the color is just perfect. I find that this is a neutral, more of a neutral bronzer. It's not super orangey. It's not super cool. It is perfect, especially for my skin. And I used it today and I am obsessed with it. I sometimes use it just to bronze all over. And I really think for the price and for it being a drugstore bronzer, it is so great. And I can't believe how soft this powder is. It's amazing how soft it is. So very good deal. I love that. To go along with that, my favorite highlight. Again, a new highlight I tried this month. This is the Wet n Wild, what is it, To Reflect Shimmer Palette. And it's called Boozy Brunch. And it's a huge compact. And at first, you know, it looks okay. That looks all right it's nothing too special but when i swatched it it's the perfect highlight so i'm going to swatch it for you and it's like a gold highlight absolutely amazing it's what i have on um on my face today and i love this you guys it is so soft it's not glittery at all it just has a glow and you don't need that much you don't it's it's super pigmented so um i was very impressed with this wet and wild shimmering compact. I would have never thought Wet n Wild would have a super nice highlight highlighter, but um, it's amazing and I'm obsessed with it. My favorite blushes this month is first off this Wet n Wild Apricot in the Middle color icon and these are reformulated and it kind of, I kind of, first I kind of regretted getting it, but then whenever I actually put it on my face, it's the perfect neutral natural blush, something that I can pair up whenever I don't know what type of blush to pick. I just did a video on those, on my favorite natural blushes, and this wasn't in it, but it's definitely a favorite because after I filmed that video, I went and bought this and I was like, oh darn it, I wish I could have included that in this video. But it's such a beautiful, warm, neutral type of blush, and I'm obsessed. It's gorgeous, and whenever it's swatched or whenever you look at it, you're like, ah, eh, it's okay. But when it's on the cheeks, it gives the most beautiful, beautiful, summery, just glow on your cheeks that just is perfect for this time. That does it draws attention because it's gorgeous, but it's not taken away from your look. So I have been absolutely loving these, and I'm super impressed with Wet n Wild as I've been trying more and more of their products. They're just really great products and they're doing so great. Then of course is this brought this blush here. I don't know if I talked about it in my last favorites. I'm sorry if I'm repeating a favorite. This is the Bea Pierre Cosmetics um, Mineral Blush in Desert Rose and it is just stunning and gorgeous and another, another blush that I like to use with cooler eye looks or with like more baby pink lips. This is kind of what I go to. So this, I, this blush I have on the apples of my cheeks, then I have the Wet n Wild Color Icon one kind of back here in this area. So I mix them both so you can kind of see, but I love this. I wore this in my favorite blushes. 
my favorite natural blush video, I wore this. So it is amazing and I love it and it's super soft and I, the thing that I like about mineral type of products, mineral blushes, is that they don't look cakey or powdery on the skin. They're super finely milled so they're just, just give you a beautiful wash of color. So I really like that. So let's kind of talk about concealer real quickly before I kind of get into all the lip products I have. So first off, these Wet n Wild um, highlighting pens are amazing. The two colors that I have is a Happy Medium and Posing Nude. Happy Medium is if you want a highlight but a more natural highlight, this is perfect. If you want something to kind of cancel out cancel out some under eye circles. This can help because it has that salmon color. Um, posing nude is more of a highlight for if you definitely want like a highlight highlight. You know, it's very, very light. You can kind of see how it's very light compared to my skin. Um, these are amazing. These are great to mix with other concealers as well. They make other concealers that are hard to work with a lot easier to work with because of the formula of these. And for the price, these are so great. Also, I have been also using the LA Girl Pro Concealer HD High Definition Concealer. And the one that I have is natural. And that's what I use underneath my eyes and I also used it to highlight um, around the lip, uh, right here in the inverted triangle. I used it on the nose and right here on the forehead. And these Pro Concealers are amazing. The only con to these is you have to get them like on Amazon or online don't have them really in stores so that's the only con that's the only thing that kind of is frustrating but you can get these in bulk as well on Amazon and it's cheaper that way so natural is a shade that's perfect for me I am a W4 W5 in L'Oreal true match in the fit me I'm 220 just so that you kind of know where I'm at okay so let's go on oh more concealer. So to set my under eye concealer, I have been obsessed with this Be A Bombshell um, Smooth Criminal Powder. Now, like I said, I'm very dry and lately I've been super dry in this area. Like whenever I set my concealer, it would get cakey right here and I wouldn't use a lot of product. So I started using this one and this is amazing. And the way that I use it is I apply it on my Real Techniques sponge after I blend out my concealer and I just pat it gently and it just smooths, 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 smooths this area so nicely. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't sink into my fine lines. It doesn't look dry or powdery. I love this. This is amazing and um, you really don't use a lot. So having a small um, little pan like this is perfect. All right, so I have so many lips products to talk about you guys and I'm going to try to go through them pretty quickly. Um, first off, what I'm wearing today, this is the Wet n Wild Velvet Matte Lip Color in Crayon in Looking for Truffle and um, I love this. I love this because it is so velvety soft but it still gives you a semi-matte velvet type of lip look. So this is what I have on all over the lip. Very beautiful, very, very beautiful. At first I thought it was going to be a little bit lighter than this, but it's still absolutely gorgeous and I've been loving it. And then today, right in the center of my bottom lip and the center of my top lip, I topped it off with this. This is the LA Colors High Shine Butter Lip Gloss in Snuggle. And this is what it looks like. I think I'm gonna go back and get the full line and swatch it for you guys because these lip glosses are amazing and I have been loving this lip gloss and they're super pigmented um, this is the color that this one is right here and I really do love these and I love topping this off like in the center of the lips so of my nude lip. This is the NYC lip liner in bare and I have been using this underneath almost all of my lipsticks this month. This is such a beautiful, beautiful color and it is perfect for your nudes. Seriously, it just gives your nude something special, especially if you have a nude that you think is too light for you or too close to your skin that it looks kind of like a concealer. Putting this underneath will totally fix that problem. So I love pairing this up underneath, but my favorite way to pair it up with is this and then my NYC Soft Matte Lip Cream in Stockholm on top. If you guys saw my nude lip favorite picks, you guys know that I talked about this and this is my absolute 
This is my first nude lipstick ever and it's or lip cream or whatever lippy ever and it's my favorite because it is such an amazing color the texture is so nice and mine's running out but it's kind of like this moussey formula and it is amazing and mine is totally running out but there it is and this is my favorite like perfect nude lip ever and these two paired up together are gorgeous um also i have been liking this combination as well. So this is the e.l.f. matte lip color in natural and these e.l.f. lip colors are awesome. They're kind of like this stick form. They remind me of the um, lippy sticks from ColourPop and then it has a sharpener as well so you can sharpen it and have a nice tip. But this is in the color natural and it's a beautiful, beautiful pinky nude and these feel very creamy. They don't tug on the lips really nice and then I've been topping that off with the NYX Butter Gloss. So this is the Butter Gloss in Eclair um, and I'm super impressed with this. So I won't wear this by itself but I will wear it topped off of like on top of nude lips because it looks gorgeous. It's right there. So this is actually the combination that I used for my favorite blush video that I did. This is the combination that I used in that video. So I'm obsessed and I'm loving these and I definitely recommend these ones and they're all drugstore so they're affordable. Um, so I'm, I'm loving those. So only three products left to go. So to finish off the face, this is the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Gel Acne Treatment. So um, this is so great because it just does amazing things. So it's a little roller ball and anytime that I have acne and I wash my face to go to bed before I put any creams on, I'll go ahead and I'll run this over like a blemish and it will just work and fight it and in the morning you will wake up 10 times better. If they're really bad blemishes, I'm not going to promise that they'll completely go away, but they will turn up better. Sometimes you have those underneath bumps or those bumps that you can tell the next morning it's going to be a huge mountain on your face. Whenever I use this, it goes down or at least it stays the same rather than going out and getting worse. So I absolutely love this and I definitely recommend it because it's super cheap on the e.l.f. website. So I recommend you guys trying that out. Sally Hansen Gel Shine 3D Nail Polish. So I usually use the shiny nail polish, the, what's it called? The Sally Hansen Shiny Nail Polish is what I usually use. I didn't find it at the store when I went, and so I found this gel one, which is a little bit more pricey, but it is so great. It's 10 times shinier, dries 10 times faster, it looks 10 times better on your nails, and it looks like I literally came home from the salon. That's it! you guys liked my favorites and I hope that you made it through alive. I hope you found something that you could really like. I'll try to link everything off down below. If you haven't checked out any of my social media like Instagram, um, I am doing 100 days of makeup so go check it out. You can see a different makeup look every single day. I'm really challenging myself to do something different um, every day so I hope that you guys will go see it and follow me there and support me. I love you guys. Um, don't forget beauty comes from within so make sure you let your shine and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother.